you got the gold. I knew you could. I'm so glad to be away from the pit. Americans tamed this wilderness once before. We'll do it again. Starting right here in Foundation. Hi there. If you see anything lurking around outside of town, let me know. All these newcomers make me nervous. You must be here about that shipment of Blamco mac and cheese. Great. I was starting to get worried. Oh, pardon me, Ben. You say you're with Paladin Romani? That's fantastic. I didn't think she'd get back to us so quickly. How can I help you, uh, sire, your majesty, uh, your steeliness? Right, about that. Originally, we were hoping to purchase some weapons in exchange for food and supplies, but we may need to work something else out. After all, our last purchase is more than enough firepower for the time being. Yep, that's right. Hun, can you tell our friend here about those uh, thingies we picked up recently? Oh, sure thing. We got weapons all right, Initiate. You Brotherhood guys make some high-quality gear. And tell me if this sounds familiar. Tubes of explosive death with your logo on the side? Oh. Well, the stuff we got definitely has your logos on it. Some guys from the town watch took them out for testing a little earlier. I'm sure you can catch up with them. They normally practice at a small site they set up near the East Mountain Lookout, a bit north of here. Oh, that's right. Mike and them took the weapons out for a test drive. If you head over, I'm sure they'd let you take a look. I, I hope you understand those weapons are our property, though. We spent quite a bit acquiring them. But hurry back. I'm sure we can still find a way to work together, even if we don't need more weapons. And send the fellas home, would ya? They've been playing with those things long enough. The fellas should be over at the East Mountain Lookout still. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you the weapons. Did you need something else? Well, this is the supply room for all things coming and going from Foundation. If it ends up in one of the Sunny's shops, it goes through here first. And send the fellas home, would ya? 
Good luck out there. See you soon. Everyone gather around. Ward wanted us to record some instructions on how to use these things. Where's Mike? Hey, Mike, stop messing around with that terminal and grab one of those rocket launchers. Uh-oh. Uh, sorry. Uh, I wanted to lock the terminal first. Uh, let me put this in my bag really quick. Give it up, Mike. That could be decades old. Just grab one of them and come here. Wait. Mike, I, I told you not to pick it up like that. Oh, God. What have I done?
closer. Investigating? What? You've been to the lookout tower. You have to understand. It was an accident. I'm Mike. Mike Tiller. Go to Foundation. Tell him you found me dead. Because I'm... I'm never leaving. I'm not going back. You can't make me. They'll never believe me. They'll think I'm a murderer. There's nothing to say. Just go and leave me. This door is barred tight, and the way behind me is flooded. You can't get in. Just give up, and go tell Gloria I'm dead. There's nothing to say. Just go and leave me.
Okay, I can explain. We were just testing these out. You know, Tad picked them up a while back. They, they seemed really powerful. They were always telling me, be careful, Mike. Don't pick it up that way, Mike. But my finger slipped and I killed them all instantly. But it was an accident, I, I swear. I never, oh God. I mean, sure, but that doesn't change what I did. How can I face them after I... I... No, you're right. They should hear it from me. I'll go back. On one condition. Let me bring the weapons back myself. Gloria and Tad will know what to do. I'm sorry. They're the only ones I trust to take care of these. I have to make sure they get back to them. I dragged all these in here. Oh, and you're right. Man, that was dumb. Fine. You bring them and meet me at Foundation, okay? Please be careful with the weapons. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. I know you. No, I've heard some amazing stories about you. You're a legend around here. I'm sorry I didn't come back right away. <laughs> I was scared. But that Brotherhood member showed up and... Well, speak of the devil. Uh, you should probably talk to Gloria. Mike was just telling us about what happened out there. Terrible. I'm glad he's alright, at least. Mike was just telling us about what happened out there. I can't believe it. All those boys, just... It's a lot to take in. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it.
Help. Well, I see you've got our weapons. You could start by giving them back. I told you, we bought them fair and square. Tad, enough! We still need to find a way to work with these people. I think... I think we should try and wrap up business between us now. We're going to need to tell those families about... what happened. I know it's hard to think about at a time like this, but settling on a deal and having you on your way is probably for the best. Now then, I understand you'll want to take these weapons back with you, but that won't work for us. They cost us too many caps to just let go. Unfortunately, regardless of where they came from before, they're our property now, and they'll need to stay with us. Well, hard to argue with that. We're not exactly the most disciplined bunch. It's true. Maybe if I had proper training, this wouldn't have happened. All right, the weapons are safer with you, but what would the Brotherhood need in return for training? You're not gonna make me do push-ups, are you? Cause that would be the end of the world. Okay, we provide food, water, and the latest scoop on weird tech, and the Brotherhood provides us with training to better defend ourselves. Sounds pretty fair to me. Oh, shit. Thanks for all your help. Please let Paladin Romani know where we stand. Thanks again, Initiate. Looking forward to doing business with y'all. Please let Paladin Romani know what we settled on. I only wish it could have been under less unfortunate circumstances. Thanks again for not killing me. Real glad things worked out. <laughs> but Thanks again, uh, Initiate. I'm going to have to really think about business. how to make things right. I'm not sure that'll ever be possible. Thanks again for not killing me. Thanks Real again, Initiate. <laughs> Looking forward to doing business with y'all. But uh, I'm going to have to really think about how to make things right. What the heck is a John, anyway? I just don't get it. Hey, fellow dweller. How's it going? Maybe if this place keeps going, we should get a dog to help me guard the house. I used to work with the folks at Foundation. Hard workers, but... 
wanted something more than just settling. help with anything. Initiate, give your report to Paladin Romani. Welcome back, Initiate. I was just discussing the missile launcher matter with Knight Shin here. I imagine you're here to report on your dealings with Foundation. Well then, don't keep us waiting. Interesting. So they'd be willing to take our lead when it comes to how they handle defense in the future. This could be mutually beneficial. At the very least, we may be able to rely on them to keep the crater in check. We're not here to exacerbate aggressions between the locals, Night Shin. Initiate. Your heart is in the right place, but we need to be careful about creating too much imbalance in the region. I'd be happy to recruit members of Foundation into our ranks if they want to learn to fight. But making the settlement more militant is concerning. So you'd be okay if they're properly trained, but only if they're flying our colors. That sounds more like a recruitment drive than an effort to help others. That's enough, Knight. You know it's more complicated than you're boiling it down to. Besides, we have a more pressing issue that the Initiate has uncovered. It's troubling that the weapons have spread to this degree, but there isn't much we can do beyond dealing with situations like this as they arise. But, Initiate, I hope you know you've done well. Paladin, maybe we should check in with Scribe Valdez. She had mentioned wanting to bring something important to our attention. That's right. Initiate, please let the Scribe know we're ready for her. Knight Shin and I have a few things to discuss in the meantime. I hope my next mission is soon. I'm tired of being stuck in Fort Atlas. Reminder, if you're looking for advice, ask your fellow initiates. I'd rather not waste my breath on that topic, so make it quick. You mean that vile man we dealt with at the storeroom? The next time he tries to wax poetic about brotherhood tyranny, and how he's trying to protect his family... Any family that threatens others to protect itself is just a criminal mob. And the way that Pierce tries to twist his words around you to justify himself, it's repulsive. And I mentioned I'd rather not talk about it. But, since you're so insistent on being intrusive, Knight Connors defended my hometown from raiders, and subsequently brought me into the fold. I've seen raiders threaten and destroy communities a number of times, not just my own. As such, I believe it is within the Brotherhood's mission to address the threat they pose to humanity. Because the Raiders are undignified outlaws who lie, steal, and murder as they see fit, their existence is a direct obstacle to the Brotherhood's mission to save humanity. That's why we can't just... get along. <sighs> Gladly. Make it quick, please. To procure and preserve dangerous technologies from before the war, and defend humanity from itself. Since the world went to pieces, anyone and everyone has been using what they can find in the wasteland to their own ends, unrestricted. If things continue like this, humanity will never make it. The first expeditionary force was tasked with investigating several valued technological sites across the U.S., concluding at the Atlas Observatory. From here, we would report back on the fate of the preceding Appalachian chapter, carrying on the Brotherhood's mission in their stead if need be. Or we would have done that report if we still had a working long-distance transmitter. We have Raiders to thank for that one. 
That lines up with our discovery so far. Truly an abominable threat, the Scorched. That information is classified. There is, and my interpretation of our orders is that acquiring it should be our number one priority. Paladin Romani thinks otherwise. She has reevaluated the situation based on her own judgment. I am following her orders. Ask them if you must. When you sufficiently demonstrate your effectiveness as an initiate and your dedication to our mission, making yourself useful instead of pestering me about your official title would be a good start. Make it quick, please. If you're not sure what to do, then stay at your post and await orders. There's a lot going on around here right now. We haven't even unpacked, and there are people pressed up against our windows with petitions. I've got enough to deal with without having to babysit new recruits. As you can see, I'm in charge of the armory. I maintain and manage all of our equipment. I keep records of our stockpiles, distribute rations, and acquire resources as needed. Since we only have one paladin here, I also lead various combat operations and support Paladin Romani in any ways necessary. To be clear, my duties do not include human resources. Does this look like a social club to you? I have my duties to attend to. I would hope that you have yours. I don't understand how that works, but I'll take your word for it. I've been with the Brotherhood for almost 20 years. I consider my life before that irrelevant. I think our mission is the only hope for humanity in the long term. And I think that any time I don't spend on that mission is irresponsible. There. Are you able to work now? Ad Victorium. Do you have any questions about your duties? Please make sure to fill out your ration requests. And no, it's a beautiful be a land, and the people produce. are resourceful. All produce is we will do everything we can to support them. What do you need, Initiate? Certainly. Tell me which one you'd like to discuss. For your sake, I hope this is a scheduled visit, Initiate. There have been no more threats from Blood Eagles. Even so, the nearby swamp creatures give the villagers trouble from time to time. They don't have much in the way of self-defense. As such, we must strive to expand the Brotherhood's reach across Appalachia, and make it a safe home for settlements such as theirs. The trade deal you establish has been of immense benefit to us. All the time our initiates would have spent gathering supplies, we've been able to direct toward training and reconnaissance. If this is what results of putting you in charge of negotiations, we'll have to do so more All often. initiates get one authorized weapon. George Putnam no came by with a basket of homegrown tatoes as a token of his family's appreciation. He reminded me his sons were interested in joining our ranks. Maybe one day we can send someone to see if they're Brotherhood material. Your service to the Brotherhood so far is appreciated, Initiate. I'd like to see more of All it. initiates get one authorized weapon. No more, no less. again? I swear Night Shin has it out for me. Who knows what strange contraptions the old mining firms built here?
Actions at bay. Listening is the key to life. Gotta focus. <laughs> 